Welcome back to Philly News Network. I'm your anchor, Timothy Payne. Our main story tonight, a fight breaks out in Congress. We turn it over to Jim Adams for more. Jim? Thank you, Tim. Yes, tonight in Congress, radical Republican Charles Sumner, shown here, was supposedly brutally beaten over the head by Southern Democrat Preston Brooks with his gold-tipped cane. Witnesses say that when debates over bleeding Kansas became fierce, Sumner began personally insulting Andrew Butler, Brooks' relative. Brooks would have none of it, and in the confusion, the real story of what happened in Congress was questionable at best. We here at Philly News recovered the tapes, however, and all questions are now answered. Here is that footage. What Mr. Sumner fails to realize is that the slaves in the South are rightful property. To refuse to return runaways is indisputably illegal and unethical. Slaves are people just like you and I. The fugitive slave laws only turn all whites against the slaves, North and South alike. Mr. Sumner, refusing the fugitive slave laws or issuing your silly little personal liberty laws are only a nuisance and offer little to no peace of conscience. Mr. Sumner, I have read your speech twice over carefully. It is a libel on South Carolina and Mr. Butler, who is a relative of mine. Your mom is a libel on South Carolina. Why, you... What? How? You cannot defeat me. The personal liberty laws are the only way. <laughs> I got your back. Now, about those fugitive slave laws. That concludes our broadcast for this evening. Tune in tomorrow for our intriguing story. John Brown beats Sasquatch in an arm wrestle? Find out more tomorrow. Good night, everyone.